Hi guys, uh, I'm doing a video today to just explain um, why the last couple of weeks I've not been able to do the videos uh, that I usually do, which is usually previews, previews of the F1 and the football. Um, now, as you may know, uh, the subscribers to this channel, I've had six liver transplants. Uh, currently, um, I'm just going to leave you a lowdown of why I've not been able to do these videos because I've not fallen, not ill, but there's a problem uh, that's developing that uh, could lead us to more health problems. Um, it's a problem I've had before uh, and it resulted in me in having a fourth transplant uh, and now we're just trying to find a way of stopping that becoming a reality. Um, now, to explain it in uh, brief as, as I can, um, all my veins around the liver are stented, uh, basically put like little plastic um, sort of uh, tube in your vein to stop it from closing. Uh, it's either plastic or metal, some sort of, it's, it goes inside the vein to to stop it collapsing and blocking. Uh, now all those, because uh, I clot so much, they've had to stent all my veins to stop this happening, um, as well as me being on blood thinners. Now the portal vein, uh, which is one of the main veins out of the liver, um, for some reason, uh, Unlike before where it was in the main vein to the heart, where I had this problem last time, this time it's not blo uh, the it's in the portal vein. It's not blocked, but it's starting to show signs of stricturing. Stricturing is like when it starts to narrow and starts to start developing to collapse. So basically the stent that's in the portal vein is not working. Uh, as it should do. Um, now, because these veins collapse and clot, it means that the uh, the blood then has to try and find another way of getting around to the heart. So it will go either through the the hepatic vein or create collaterals around the 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 blockage or stricture. Uh, to find a path away back to the heart as quickly as it can. This causes unnecessary pressure on the system that you have inside you called the lymphatic system. And this contains, this system contains um, a level called albumin. Now albumin is basically protein. It's, uh, it's like the white, if you see the uh, egg, um, it's the white of the egg, um, not the yolk, but the, the white of the egg. That's albumin. Um, when you see it's not cooked and it's in that clear, transparent form, that's that's what albumin is. Um, now, this is in the lymphatic system, but because of the pressure that's being caused by my stricture, this puts unnecessary pressure on the lymphatic system and causes the army to leak through my gut. Um, so I ended up losing it through the gut and then obviously the army level starts coming down. This then has other effects such as you can't absorb anything you eat or drink, no nutrients that you can eat or drink that come from your food or your drinks or anything like that, you can't absorb you need the protein to absorb it you can't that means then you can't you feel so tired uh, your body temperature goes up and down because the liver's detecting these problems um, you're uh, yeah feel very fatigued um, uh, you, and uh, but the most predominantly your legs start to swell and when I mean they start to swell up they swell up, especially when the level gets really low. And 
to the point you, you like carrying an extra two three kilos of fluid um, inside you because that's what almond absorb it absorbs the protein absorbs all the fluid um, that your body produces and if you haven't got almond in there you build up so much fluid and it goes to the lowest point which is your legs so all these problems um, means that I have been able to, been having to take time off uni um, like I said I have not been able to uh, feel up to doing the videos that I usually do um because half the time i ended up uh, asleep um and i've just had to have an infusion uh yesterday of albumin to top me up um which i feel is starting to work uh which is why i'm doing the video today um so but yeah this is just basically uh, just uh, a reason why I have not been uh, active on YouTube as much as I have been and I do apologize for that um, unfortunately I can't help that in any way um, it's just my normal health problems that I have to deal with every day um, it's just uh, it's it's just me uh, and it's I'm I'm just not well uh, I never have been throughout my life and I never will be uh, 25 and that's even now 25 years on this is my birthday yes yesterday uh, and that again that's another birthday that I had to spend in hospital having infusions or whatever and it's just a num another natural part of my life that's just normality for me being having to go in and have treatment for various problems um, but yeah, so, um, like I said, uh, I do apologise for not being active. Uh, I try and be as active as I can and do as many videos as I can. The videos are actually going to start changing a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to focus so much on doing Arsenal or F1. Not just because Arsenal is so depressing right now. I don't get me started. And... And not because I don't find the F1 that interesting anymore, obviously, because I'm a massive Hamilton fan. Um, but I've seen, I'm sort of doing videos that are going to help um, the charity Children's Living Disease Foundation with their new um, Hive network that they're setting up, which gives um, liver patients a chance to talk to other liver patients with similar conditions through like a Facebook group uh, and also try and ha get top tips and advice on how to live with a problem and that's what I've sort of been asked to do as sort of a researcher given my sort of experience of uh, hospitals stuff like that uh, top tips of how to live in hospitals all this sort of st like stuff that I've learned over dealing with my pro my liver condition for about 25 years which I then can pass on to younger people, uh, the younger generation so that's what more of my videos are going to start being like now um, so if you, you're willing to support that then get on the Children's Living Disease Foundation page the link's in the description below as always the link's always in the description below of every video I do um, Please support them, donate to help them research, build networks, and um, help kids deal with their liver problems as best as they can. That's what they strive to do, uh, and give liver patients a chance to uh, achieve what they want to achieve in life, um, and not be limited by their condition that's what they strive to do and if you are willing to support that um, as I do every day um, then yeah hit a like on the video also go on the website of Children's Lee Foundation donate um, and 
um, yeah and uh, comment on this video and also subscribe um, to the to this channel as well uh, so yeah um, as I said I'll try and uh, I will be doing a video for the fourth Formula One uh, because obviously it's Hamilton is looks like he's going to secure the championship this uh, this this race so uh, at this Grand Prix and there's something dramatic happens so I will do a preview review for that um, but other stuff will be more towards Children's Liberties Foundation uh, but I will be coming up with my reaction to what happened with Rane Chaka uh, and I will not be holding back so yeah uh, leave a like comment subscribe and I'll talk to you guys some uh, uh, as soon as I can yeah take care and yeah support Children's Foundation